What's up, Kawa gang? All right, so we got this problem here. So we got this suicidal transverse wave that's on a string, and we have these constants, right? Or, you know, the stuff we know about it. So, and then it says, uh, if the average power is 46 watts, what must the amplitude of the wave be? So we're looking for amplitude, right? So we get this equation here. Uh, this is an equation you probably need to Google or find out. Just uh, something you need to figure out. It's kind of just it's how it is, you know? I uh, can't derive every equation on every problem. So what do we have here, right? So what do we need to find? So we're given the power average, uh, one half. We don't know the mass per unit length yet. That's something we can calculate though. We're trying to find amplitude. Uh, angular velocity, we can figure that out. And velocity, we're given that. So let's go ahead and solve for what we don't know. So first, mass per unit length. So that, w, that e looking thing is basically the mass per unit length, right? So if we want to figure that out, it's going to be uh, so we need it in kilograms. So we have our mass of the string zero point, or 6.50 grams. So we're gonna divide it by 1,000 to get 0.0. .0. Let me think about this, one, two, three. Yeah, that's gonna be at 6.50 kilograms per unit length, 8.50 meters. So that's gonna be a number that you can plug in. I'm just gonna keep it there and I'm gonna plug it into my equation. Next we need W, right? We need our angular frequency. So what is that? So W is equal to the velocity times the K value. We don't have the k value, so let's find the k value, right? So k is equal to 2 pi over the wavelength. So, okay, so let's plug this right into here. So w is equal to v times 2 pi over lambda. And if you solve all this, you get w is equal to, uh, so the velocity is 27, and then 2 pi over 3.25 is just going to end up being 8 pi. And I didn't plug this in yet, but this gives you uh, 216 pi. Okay, so now we have everything we need. So let's go ahead and rearrange this equation into a way. So I'm going to multiply that 2 over. So we're going to get 2 times power average. And then I'm going to divide by this to get a squared w squared b. So then I'm going to divide by these two things to get a squared by itself. So it's going to be 2 times the power divided by mass per unit length, divided by W squared, divided by velocity. And then I have this A squared, so I'm gonna take the square root of all of this to get what A is by itself, that's our amplitude. So just plugging in all of our nouns, basically, you get A is equal to the square root, so two times the average power, which is 46.0, I'm pretty sure. And then divided by so our mass per unit length is this number, which ends up calculating to 7.647 times 10 to the negative four. Our W squared, so that's gonna be 100, or 200, 216 pi squared, so 216 pi, and square all of that, don't forget to square the pi. And then times just our velocity, so 27. So we have this big equation, and if you plug it in, you're going to get an amplitude of 0 0.09884 meters. Boom, there it is, it's right there. That's how you solve it. So, part A is that. Now part B, uh, for the same string, if the amplitude and wavelength are the same as part A, what is the average power for the wave if the tension is increased such that the wave speed is doubled? So basically, we're going to use the same equation, but instead our wave speed is going to be doubled, and our wave speed is just velocity. So where am I going to erase up to? I'm going to, I should probably write this down. So A is equal to, uh, I guess, what am I looking for in this amplitude? Is equal to 0.094984 meters. So this might be a useful number. So let's go ahead and erase up to this part. I like this part. I should erase this too. Okay, so now we're just gonna look at the same equation. Now we're trying to find power this time, but what happens if we uh, double our velocity, right? So our amplitude is gonna stay the same, but our velocity is gonna double. Yeah, so it says the amplitude is the same, the wavelength is the same, all that happens is our velocity gets doubled. So everything that we have at delta V, and we're gonna have to double it. So we have a velocity here, two, and we have a velocity up there. So our new equation is gonna be our average is equal to one half uh, mass per unit 
That's for e to the length, a squared, and then w is equal to this, so it's going to be 2 velocity times 2 pi over lambda, and then times 2 v. All right, I think I said pi, or I don't know what I said. Okay, so this is our new equation, right? And all we have to do is plug in what we know. I guess the v's are multiply together, and you could end up simplifying this. So this is going to be 4, and then with the 1 half, it's going to become 2. So 2u a squared, v squared, 2 pi over lambda. This is what this equation comes down to. Uh, hopefully I did that right. Oh, no, 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 I didn't do that right, because I forgot to square this. Okay, hopefully I didn't confuse you too much with that. I'm just going to plug it in with this. Like, you don't have to do all this, right? You have all the knowns. You don't have to worry about doing all that, right? So power average, let's just plug in what we know. 1 half. Uh, that's pretty good length is that small number again, so it's 7, right? 6, 4, 7 times 10 to the negative 4, which is just uh, this number, whatever this calculates to. So it's amplitude is what we found here, 0 0.0984. Square that times 2 times the velocity, 27 times 2 pi over lambda, which is 0 0.0, or 0 0.250, square all of that, and then again multiply by 2 times 27, and then, <laughs> after all of that, you get power that's equal to 368 wattages. There you go, that's part B. There you go, that's how you solve this kind of problem. So not too difficult, just got to know your equations, uh, learn how to rearrange your equations. I'm sure by now you know how to do that. So yeah, you're probably chilling right now. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, thanks for all the support.